Yeah. Ty, we got one thing before we get to Watson. This will be quick, but it came, it got brought up this morning. It wasn't in the initial rundown, but I do think we should spend at least five minutes on it real yeah, quick. If you're watching, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, do us a favor. It helps us out a ton, and we appreciate everyone for spending their mornings with the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. But Stump Mitchell, the recently let go of running backs coach for the Cleveland Browns, has been doing a little bit of a media tour, and he sat down with a different TV station in the city of Cleveland yesterday. He was asked – what he kind of had the most regrets about during his tenure in Cleveland. And, G, I'll let you kind of set this up. I watched it. I don't think Jay and Bull have I seen did not this see it. yet. But no. uh, he said his biggest regret was he couldn't get the most out of Kareem Hunt during his time here and essentially kind of threw Kareem under the bus saying he was always inconsistently late for meetings and practice. G, will you echo that to make sure I'm not <laughs> I was over-exaggerating? <laughs> I, I, I tweeted it at first because I only saw a snippet of it. I, 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 I heard him say, you know, uh, I couldn't get the most out of Kareem, and basically we tried to have people have interventions with him or whatever the case may be from Deshaun Watson or other quarterbacks to get through to him. And then I watched the long length, and I threw, when I watched the short length, I threw it out and I said, is it me or, like, he got some problem with, with Kareem Hunt? And I was like, let me see. I went to the whole full length. Yeah. I watched the full length, and he went in. He basically said, and it was unsolicited. She's like, you know, talk about some of the guys that you've uh, coached and their impact and, you know, pretty much do you have any regrets or anything that things went. It was like, well, you know, if I have one regret, um, you know, I just couldn't get through to Kareem Hunt. You know, Kareem, you know, he's a he's a good player. I think, you know, we could have, I didn't get the most out of Kareem. I wish you know, I, I gave him multiple opportunities. He would come to meetings late. You know, he would be, you know, guy, one of the, the first guys off the field. And I even had, you know, some quarterbacks like Deshaun reach out to him and stuff and uh, try to get through to him. But we, we, I was just never able to get through to him like that. I'm like, dang. That's shocking. That's unsolicited. I'm not surprised. I'm, uh, I'm, no, no, it's not. I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not surprised. About what he said, uh, I'm surprised oh, that I'm he said. Yeah. Yeah. I was stunned. like, they don't do that. I wish, yeah, I wish he wouldn't have did that. Like, I like, I'm glad would. he did it. I wish he wouldn't have did that at all. That's not. That, that. Does that change it? I know you. <laughs> guys, yes, it does. I don't want. I didn't want Kareem Hunt back to begin with. Yep. Assuming Nick Chubb is back, but does that change your mind on oh, wanting oh, him back? Oh, hold it on. does. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, watch this. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a code, bro. <laughs> it's a code. You can't. The same way coaches don't demon, admonish coaches we in the media. We talked about this yesterday. You can't, as a position coach, admonish that man in the media without giving him an opportunity to speak on that. Like that, and he's a free agent. Wait, but but that's what I'm saying. But I disagree with that. Sounds team like he's given him a lot of opportunities. He gave him all kinds of opportunities. But here's the thing, though. If you go, if you cared about it like that. Man. You had to do that. You had to do that privately. That's what I'm saying. Because you could go to him yeah. like, listen. Wait, wait, guys. I, I'm sure that was done privately. He said it was done privately. Well, he didn't but need to you, put it on. The, you didn't need you the can't world put to put that on that. wax. But, but so, I disagree. And let's have that discussion. Let's have that As a parent, particularly when one parent wants to rule with an iron fist, and the other parent's like, oh, let the boy go. There's there's differences there. The problem is if you decide to go lenient and child takes the wrong road, now there's division between the parents who couldn't come up with the, with the parenting philosophy. The parent who wanted to be strict is saying, we gave him rope, and look where he went. So there's always going to be that. I take this, I'm a little concerned. Did Stump Mitchell go to Kevin Stefanski and say, Coach, I'm on him as hard as I can get on him. He, he needs to hear this. From, sounds like he said, I tried interventions. This... This criticism didn't come out of left field when, when Kareem heard it. He was shocked that he went public with it, but sometimes you've tried everything you can with the player, and they just aren't listening. Maybe this yeah. is the nuclear weapon that you're using not to hurt the player. Oh, that's going to hurt him. Jay. But to <laughs> help that's, the player. That's going to hurt him. I might say that's no, definitely going to hurt But wait a second, guys. You're saying like it's going to hurt him because he's a free agent. Maybe that's why he didn't get signed last year. Don't it's, you think, you, that's don't what you think I was just known around the league already. Th that, and, and which team knew his work ethic? My, my, yeah. thing, my thing is this. You you want to go with the with the child and parent route. So let me ask you this. Let's say one of your kids is struggling in school. Yes. Right? And they, the teacher said, would you rather that teacher call you and say, hey, you know, I just want to let you know that your son. I need to know that. Okay, perfect. Of course I, or yeah. would you rather them say, you know what, well, let's, let's get on the PA. 
Corey Crawford is struggling in math right now. Corey Crawford never made over a million a year to be a math student. What difference does that make? What difference does it make? All I'm asking you is, would you rather, that's his job. Would you rather the teacher come to you privately or would you rather her get on the loudspeaker and and blast into the whole world? What I'm telling you is sometimes the scarlet letter isn't the first, isn't where the discipline train starts. It where it's where it ends. So, so, so what I'm but, saying is, he's telling us we tried interventions. I tried everything I could to get through to the player. My regret is I couldn't. So maybe he's doing this not to spite or vindictive or anything else. Maybe he's doing that because he says I don't know what else to try with Kareem. I love Kareem like a child, but, but he can't but, well, succeed but, unless but, he gets well, what, you but, but, what you don't realize is it's done. It's over. Kareem might not play another snap. I don't. Game. I don't agree with that. Oh, no, I, I think coming definitely. off, coming off, he scored nine touchdowns you, you in the regular a, season. Yeah, but nobody is that the cares about that. I will bet you that Kareem he's done. Hunt gets it's another carry. Everybody see NFL. this, right? Hey, it's done. Everybody it's see this. It's he's finished. done. Well, he's done. He's he's done. done. <laughs> Last year, Jamal Williams had seventeen touchdowns and he barely played. This I get. Year. I, listen, I understand. <laughs> you know, I, I don't need nine touchdowns. He's I done. Think he, I mean, he averaged three yards a carry. Guys, what's the hardest thing in in football to do? Score touchdowns. Punch it in from the one. Okay. But, Look at the number of teams that have no problem but, moving but, it between but, the but, 20. But, but guess what? He's a running back. Now he, he's, but he, 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 he a has a, a, running back. He's a terrible uh, work ethic. You can't get through to him. So why would you bring I, him I in? I would say, listen, I, Someone I, will. I, I, no, don't they think, won't. I don't think we're going to. It's over. I, I, I get what you guys are saying. I think we got to look at it this though, but forget forget whether he should have said something or not. Now that he has, does it change your opinion on whether you want on back? Well, well, no. I didn't I, want I, him we, back no, to begin no, with. No, we we skipped over the big thing. My the, part, the biggest thing is this. Stop. Let me just keep it real with you. This might be it. Just might be. He a, broke a the hot bro take. code. <laughs> look, yeah, I don't you can't that. do an interview, right? You just got let go. Okay. Okay. Right? You just got let go. Mm-hmm. You said. All glowing things about your organization and people who control your job. Mm-hmm. The reality of it is, those individuals above you, they got rid of you. And you could have had an axe to grind on the way out, but you didn't say nothing. But yet and still, you chose unsolicited to talk about Kareem Hunt on the way out. That's a parting shot. And by the way, it works both ways here. If you are a guy like if you if you looking at what Stump Mitchell did, they could look at him and be like, "Well, we told you multiple times, don't leak no information." Yeah. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. We they, we told you, we gonna keep this in house, and it could hurt his ability to get. No, the jobs. irony but, of all this though, guys, is he was fired for leaking information, and yeah. now he's talking to the media, and we're yeah. surprised. But but no, but here's the thing: if I, if Kevin Stefanski and the media came out and said, you know what? The reason we got rid of Stump Mitchell was X, Y, and Z. He was a chatty patty. He couldn't keep nothing in house. <laughs> and you know what? I, we like what he do in the field, but as an organization, that you can't have loose cases. We would have been critical of them. You would have. You yeah. people would have been like, "Wow!" Because guess what? Stump Mitchell will never get another job right, because right. his That's coach fair. was on record. That's saying, fair. But gee, I think we're. I still think we're ignoring the fact that Kareem Hunt was a bad teammate. If he wasn't working hard, he was a bad teammate. Allegedly. <laughs> wait, well, would, wait, it's so made it up. We no, don't no, know. No. I got you got to hear from that. He got an opportunity to rebuttal that. Sure. I, yeah. I, I mean, I would love to hear what Kareem Get has him on to the say. podcast. Steve book him. Let's go. I would love yeah, I, I would love to hear what he had to say because it's, it's fascinating. We'll because but if it's true, he was a bad teammate or if it's true. Yeah. Now, here, the, the, the theory, maybe and I'm going to give Stump the benefit of the doubt on this. Maybe the reason Stump came out against it. It was that was listed as one of the reasons why they let him go <laughs> because there's a situation with Kareem Hunt. You didn't get the best out of him. Well, but see, I think I think they got more out of Kareem than anyone thought they were going to get. I did too. Jason was saying he's got three. He's on three wheels. A lot of people. He here's was. what he was asked to do. I think he was on three. He wheels. was asked to be a short yep. yardage back. Well, he punched that ticket. But we don't know that, Jay. Maybe they would ask him to do more if they thought he could do more, but they didn't think he could. If they thought he could, they would have brought him back without without not bringing him back originally. They and must maybe have they said, didn't because they knew he could. They must have said, yeah. he's at the end of his rope. He doesn't work hard. All he's good for is the short yardage stuff. We've got Nick Chubb. We're good. Nick Chubb goes down. Now, all of a sudden, they're looking around saying, who's going to get 
third and goal yeah. from the left. I, I, I think just Tyvis is right that Kareem's not going to get a job next year. Awesome. But I, we'll see. I think he probably wasn't getting the job anyway. That, could, that, could, have that could have been true, yeah. too. That we'll find out. Yeah. I mean, Jay. I just think there's a market for a guy that does what he does. Jay, the guy there's was, a market for that. The guy literally was sitting at home after a whole. When, when did Kareem? I mean, when did uh, we, after we? He's yeah, he been three. sitting at home. Like, did nobody call him? He ain't getting no. We did, I don't even think he worked out. No, for he anybody. did get calls. Did and he work according out? According to his agent, he was deciding which offer he was going to take. Man. That never came to fruition. <laughs> no, you've heard that. <laughs> the agent can be full of crap. They usually are. Yeah. They usually are. But what we know came to fruition was when the Browns lost Chubb, who did they call? I just, and they knew what his work ethic was because he'd already so been me, on the team. All right, so let me ask you this. God forbid some, Chubb's not right next year. He may not be at the beginning of the season. Uh, will, will they bring him back? No, and there's and I don't want to say it because the stump. I don't want to say it's because of stump. There you go. The Browns have also made the Why not? There is a Ford's not the guy either. There's a need for short yardage yes. and goal line situations. There is, but here's what you're missing. Ford isn't the guy. Okay. So they have to get another running back. Okay. Because they don't have Chubb, and they'll know that when they're going out to look okay. for him. They're gonna find somebody that can do the dirty work. If so 